What's changed in Bonnaroo? You've seen six years? Six years, What's yeah. changed from the first time you saw it until this time? Uh, we got showers, uh, quarter potties are all over the place, a ton more people, uh, but still a damn good time. Other than that, uh, the crowd is still pretty much all hippies and people want to have a good time, man. No doubt about it. I mean, everybody's having a blast so far. There's Hell no yeah. doubt. Yeah, it's going to be a good weekend. I can't wait. It is. What did we think like when it was um, six years ago and uh, your first time? Was it the same thing all weekend, 80,000, 100,000 strong? No, no, no. It was much less. Much less. I literally, uh, I camped so close to Senderu the first time I came. I think it was 2005, I guess. I was literally like, could just like walk right into Senderu. It was not that many people here. It's really blown up since, you know, since then. Nobody even knew what it was when I first started coming here, so. Well, they got so many great bands now. So many, so many talented artists. Yeah, here, I kind man. of, I kind of miss the days of, uh, I mean, they had Fish back, you know, a couple of years ago, but kind of miss those days a little bit too, you know? Absolutely. Yeah. Now they got some great ones, a lot of great yeah, acts, yeah, man. Still, yeah. many. I mean, we got Arcade Fire playing tonight. It's gonna be pretty, pretty awesome. Buffalo Springfield. It's tomorrow night, I think. It's gonna be fucking sweet. Absolutely, yeah, man. Away, man. Historic event. And tell me the one thing about this year's Bonnaroo that's the most that's been just like inspiring. Inspiring? It's yeah. year number ten. Do the roof. Do it's, the roof. It's year number ten. You gotta fucking rage, man. Nice. Year number ten. Absolutely, ten. man. Ten. 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 ten I'm, gonna do, I'm gonna do ten more before I'm dead. There you go, you that man. Much. That's that's the way to do music, <laughs> man. You do what you can oh, because yeah, you know, we never know when it's that artist Bonnaroo! might never play again. Bonnaroo! Happy Bonnaroo! Yeah, baby, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, man, you never know when that band might not never play again. You yeah, know? yeah, Nine Inch Nails. Absolutely, man. I was here man. for that, man. Hell yeah. They were at the room? Uh, Nine Inch Nails, yeah. Really? I didn't know that, man. See, I've been, uh, probably didn't know about the first couple years. No, that was, it was in small. 2009, man. I think that really? was 2009 they played their last show here, Trent Reznor. Gotta love that, man, because I definitely uh, caught them at Woodstock 94. In oh, the yeah? Mud, baby. Did you help in burn shit down or what? Yeah, there's no <laughs> doubt. Yeah. Happy Bonnaroo, guys. Yeah. Happy yeah. Bonnaroo. What's up, you words? Bonnaroo, gotta love it. Tell What's me up, about buddy? Bonnaroo, What's man. Going on? What do you think, bro? Well, I think it's a hell of a lot hotter year than it is in Canada. <laughs> yeah, no doubt about it, man. No doubt about it. I kind of like the Northeast after today, yeah. man. Not a root. Yeah. Gotta six love years it. strong as well right here. Yes, Gotta love is, it, man. Is. Tell me about this year. What's the best thing, man? What's new this year? The weather right now. Ah, awesome. It is sweet. It's a little hot for <laughs> yeah, a New Yorker, yeah. but, man. Awesome. I'm coping. I'm coping. Yeah, man. You're in New York, too? Absolutely, right, man. me too, man. New Where York from? City. New York City. All Every right. Every year we make the trek down here. Awesome, this year, man. This year we flew, but uh, historically we've been, we've been drivers, but... Uh, the flying was actually kind of nice. I'm, I'm well rested. I'm ready to ready to party it up tonight, man. There you go. The long drive can wear you down before you get here, man. Absolutely, man. Gotta tell you that for sure, man. You never know what's gonna happen to you on the road. Yep. Sometimes you have a great trip, and sometimes you have some really inter interesting experiences that sounds uh, a lot like acid I'm, to me, man. I might even <laughs> I might even share one day with my experiences on this trip down. It was pretty amazing. Absolutely, uh, man. The uh, the journey, let's say. That's for sure. But well, it has hey, been man, a great man. year. Lots of great shows, man. Lots of great shows all day, baby. Let's go. Okay. All right. What's your name? Where are you from? I'm Gabby. I'm from Louisville, Kentucky. And I haven't got to go in yet. I'm waiting to see Atmosphere. I can't wait. It's at 5 o'clock. I've been waiting all day for it. All day. That's and the then, one for you? Yep. That's the one for me. And then tonight, Primus. Um, what else do we got? STS 9 coming up this weekend. I'm just so excited. So many good shows. No doubt about it. Bonnaroo's amazing, isn't it? Yes, Bonnaroo. Atmosphere, where, the, where are they from? Minnesota. Slug. Are they? I yeah. don't know the band. Actually, Sorry, saw, I'm a little I more old school him. than you are, so, you know. I saw him in his hometown, and he's such a good guy. He came out, he gave everybody in the audience a hug, shook their hand, and thanked them for being a fan. Really? That's when I fell in love. Re yes. Are you serious? I'm dead serious. That he's is a, a band that is I've got yes. to hook up with and talk to, because, Five you know... I'm all about how um, to trying to bridge the gap between the artists and the fans. Yes. Because a lot of bands are distant from the fans, and a lot really love their fans and come out and talk to us and do stuff like that. He does. And I just would like all the artists to understand how much that means to us as fans. To, it does. To do that. And I mean, I haven't every single show I've heard of them, like I've heard of them since I've went to, just because of that. I mean, I fell in love. There you love go. Them. 
That is awesome. Well, thank Dave. you. Thank you. Rock on. Enjoy the room. Yeah. Having a great time at the room so far? Oh, yeah. It is a great scene, isn't it? Yeah, it's awesome. What's the best thing so far? Uh, so far, the best thing is everybody getting here, I think. You know, seeing everyone get really excited. Absolutely. Yeah. Going in, getting ready, anticipation of their favorite band coming yeah. on. Yep, yep. It's wild. I just love that energy building yeah, until that yeah. band comes out, man, and they yeah. just just kick ass and make the fans go nuts. Yeah. It truly is an experience, eh? Yeah. What's the one band you're not going to miss tonight? Uh, the Arcade Fire. Yeah, that's yeah. the one for you? Yeah. Uh, have you seen them before? Yes. How many times? Like? Only once. It yeah. was awesome, though. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm excited. Cool. It's a good time. Yeah, yeah. No doubt. It's a really good time. All right. Yeah. Where are you from? I came here from Athens, Georgia. I'm from Valdosta, Georgia. So. Cool. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. You see a lot of other shows? Or? Yeah, I try to. Yeah. Um, yeah, I've been on a little circuit different times. Whenever they come around, I don't travel very far, but um, whenever they come to Atlanta, yeah. So, yeah. You gotta love it. Yeah. Gotta love rock and roll. Yeah. One for the room. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Got a Bonnaroo. Having a great time out in Bonnaroo. From, drove all the way down from Chicago. Checking out Pretty Lights later tonight. My morning jacket. It's going to be a great night. Can't wait. It's been a great weekend already. Peace. Enjoy, everyone. Going to get even better. Rock on, brother. Talk to me about Bonnaroo, man. Tell me about it. Iowa. That's all I got to say. <laughs> Got to love it. What's the best way to get a center right from here? Just go that way or... Thing you want, man. What do you think about Bonnaroo? Bonnaroo is sweet, man. Uh, I drove here nine and a half hours from Richmond, Virginia to get here. Me and my buddies watched a lifetime experience. Might as well take advantage of it, man. Uh, can't really say one band I'm here for. Uh, they snacked us tonight, dude. We're ready to throw it down. Uh, other than that, we're just here to have a good time. Throw it down with all the good people, dude. Enjoy the good vibes. So tell me, what band is it you guys want to see this this weekend? Well, uh, tonight we're seeing Big Boy. Big Boy of Outkast. The Little Wayne. Oh, I we're mean, going to see him too. We just uh, it sucks if they put him like right <laughs> side by side. That's yeah. crap. Oh, that's yeah. rough. A little concert conflict schedules, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, it's, it's like when your two favorite bands play on the same night. It's like, man, which one am I going to see? Yeah, we were um, sprinting between. Um, Bella Fleck right, and the Fleck Tones, Matt and Kim. Yeah, we, and we just Chris saw Bella Fleck. It was really good. That was incredible. I mean, they were all there were some bass solos that were not forgettable. Like that. Oh, so good. Nice. Who was the bass player? I, I couldn't I tell you his name. name. I couldn't tell you. I've listened to we Bella We're so Fleck. far away. Yeah, all I could see about him was that he was very focused on what he was doing, and it had, was reaping some pretty good results. Gotta love it when somebody just hits that mark. You know what I mean? You see a lot of oh, shows yeah. in time. A lot of different solos, and man, there are times where somebody just hits it, man. Yeah, yeah like every, he was dope. <laughs> so good. And every time an artist plays through a song, they get a new chance to like really hit everything they wanted to hit in it. And sometimes you are standing there when that moment like actually comes, and they do it the best that they've ever performed it before. Like, yeah. it's, it's it's stuff like that that just like makes going to events like this worth it. Exactly. You know, it's one for the record books. It's like you look back, you know, years from now, and you talk about a show that you were at and it's like my god I'll never forget that bass solo mm. that stood out as one of the greatest bass solos I've ever seen you know a lot of concert moments like that for sure yeah, I'm that asshole back home who never shuts up about Bonnaroo so really there you go you keep yeah, talking no. about it and talking oh about it oh my god Elena we've heard your Bonnaroo stories like a hundred times so, <laughs> yeah, yeah I wasn't originally going to go with her this year and then one of her friends uh, couldn't make it so I got to get their extra see what all the fuss was about and I have to say it's amazing it's my first row oh really yeah. yes it is ain't it nice it's amazing what a, just the spirit of the people is unparalleled yeah that's the great everybody's like so nice to each other and friendly it's like a great vibe yeah can't be much better than a bunch of people who go to Tennessee no doubt we appreciate it to the landowners and the planners and the promoters that did oh, yeah. this event. Oh, yeah. The, the poor, you know, the, the poor town. Uh, what's the town? Like Marshall? Manchester. Manchester, that's what it was. We drove through Marshall on the way down. I, I can't even remember where I am. Um, the, uh, <laughs> then it's a good show. It's a, it's a great show, yeah, I know. Transports me in a distant realm.
Yeah, no, the, the people in Manchester, you know, the, the uh, police at least are dealing with a lot, and, like, they're just as much a part of what makes all this stuff possible as, like, any of the performers are, or any of the, you know, the people who are working backstage, working lights. Like... The amount of money right that was going Yeah, no, I hope I hope somebody's cutting their fat check for this, because they're, they're doing some tough work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, it takes so many people to make an event like this happen. It literally is a team of thousands put together in all different areas, all different sort of departments to take care of the different people, you know, and the demand from 80,000 people for this long. It's incredible. Third biggest city in Tennessee. It's incredible. It's like a civilization of tents. It's amazing. <laughs> it is. I was in Woodstock 94. It was very oh, similar. Yeah. Definitely, except it poured the whole weekend. It was pretty rough out there. Oh, wow. I'm kind of hoping we get a rain, little rain here to cool things off. And it's getting pretty roasty down, out here. Yeah. To keep the dust down would be nice. Absolutely. Well, you guys totally rock. Yeah. You have a great time, so a safe weekend. Word. You too. Absolutely. Like, what do you think about this year's Bonnaroo? It's awesome. This is my first time in Bonnaroo, and it's just... That's all I got to say. Gotta love it. That's perfect. Um, um, my name is Macy. I'm from Alpharetta, Georgia. And I'm Hannah, and I'm also from Alpharetta. Fish in a couple nights, right? Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. No doubt. And what is it about Bonnaroo? Um, the people and the music and the atmosphere. Yeah, everyone is so cool and so friendly, and it's just a great, great energy. It is. Isn't mm -hmm. security great? They it have is. been awesome. They yeah, have. I agree. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Everyone's super cooperative. Gotta yeah. love it. Just here to have a good time. I hear that. Mm -hmm. We all are. 80,000 going strong. Yeah. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. Any certain band that you're not going to miss, the one you got to see? Bass Nectar. Yeah. Bass Nectar for sure. Really? Yes. You've seen them before? Um, I've never seen them before. I was supposed to, but ended up losing my ticket, so oh. today we'll make up for it. There you so, go. Yep. And Pretty Lights, so many people are telling me about Pretty Lights. I know. Oh We're gosh. definitely going to that. I'm really? Stoked. Yeah. You know, I'm a little sure. more old school. I don't know who they are, and I can't wait to hear them tonight because oh, everybody's good. telling me about them. I know. I was talking about You have to. Absolutely. I know. No question. Right. One for the roof? Yep. Bye, Woo! Woo! What do you think of the roof so far, man? It's I'm Friday having, afternoon. I'm having a blast. Of at Rue so far, I was volunteering, great time, great experience. I'm done now for the rest of the weekend. I'm gonna see Go-Go Bordello on Saturday night and rock the house. Uh, MI Radio, based out of Brooklyn, New York, we bring you all the greatest independent music, not on the labels. So check us out at MI Net Radio. Hey man, what's your name, where are you coming from, bro? I'm Sean, I'm from uh, Huntsville, Alabama. All right, cool, man. How's Huntsville? Uh, it's all right. There you go. Yeah. How's Bonnaroo? It's pretty, it's pretty fucking awesome. Yeah, yeah, I, I enjoy it quite a bit. Cool, man. It is an amazing experience, ain't it? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Out of all the stuff you've seen here, man, what's the coolest thing you saw? Coolest thing I've seen so far? Um, One of the exhibits, I, you know? Um, so far, I don't know. Just the, just all the, just all the people, all the craziness going on. Like, just that's all. That's all pretty awesome. Like, just this many people together doing this. I, I haven't. None of the bands that I've really come here to see have played yet. So. What's the one you're not gonna miss, man? You got him. Oh yeah. yeah, you're here for Heaven M. There yeah. you go. Yeah. Seen him before? Uh, no, never. Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. No doubt. For me, it's Alberta Cross. That's my number one. Awesome. Not going to miss them for anything. Awesome. Absolutely, man. You see other shows as well? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, several. Like, you mean like here? No, just, other shows before here. Uh, What's the last show you went to? Blockarusa last weekend. Yeah. And uh, before that, I was in Colorado. And I saw a show at Red Rocks. Nice. I just go to local shows and stuff a lot back home. You know, I was in Colorado on vacation one time and I drove up to Red Rocks and there was no show there that day, but I got out and I walked all around the amphitheater. What an amazing, amazing place oh, yeah. for a show. It's awesome. Especially right at sunset, man, with the sun going mm -hmm. down. I, I couldn't believe my timing. It was yeah. incredible. Yeah, definitely, man. No doubt, man. Who'd you see when you were out there? Uh, uh, Disco Biscuits, uh, Big Boy, Rusco, and uh, was there anyone else? Huh? Boombox. Yeah. Awesome, man. Gotta love people that ride around, go to lots of shows, man. Yeah, man. It's a passion of yours, I can tell, man. Yeah, man. 
No oh. doubt. It's all about the music. <laughs> right on. Gotta yeah. love it. Have a great time at the show, man. Right, easy, man. Rock on. Now they are. So what's been your favorite part of the room, man? Um, shit, the people. The other fans? Yeah, man. I've been chilling with so many different people. South Carolina to Canada, you know? I'm from South Florida, but... And people are awesome here. Yep, like even, a, even several from London I've met. Really? Yeah, I've seen probably a couple uh, Europeans for sure. Yeah. Like Sweden or something. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it's fun though. You gotta love it, man. How far do you travel for shows? Um, this is the furthest I've traveled. I don't really travel too much for shows. This is my first big one, but um, I flew up here. My mom lives in Nashville, so and then I just drove here. It wasn't an hour away. Cool. So, this Got, is a good one, though. No doubt about that, man. Gotta Base love it. Nectar is gonna be fun tonight. Which one? Base Nectar. Oh yeah, man. Kind of crazy. I've never seen them, but I'm sure that the scene is going to be crazy. I've had a few people tell me they can't wait for them. <laughs> gonna rock, man. Yeah, you have an awesome time at the show tonight, right, brother. Thank you. No doubt. Rock on. Sweet.